Well, it's been a beautiful Mother's Day Sunday. We'll continue to see dry weather prevailing throughout the remainder of your weekend, even throughout the next several days with not much occurring in our forecast. I mean, we have high pressure building in from the west and nice dry air, sufficient dry air in place as a reinforcing shot of cooler and crisper air is upon us, which means we don't really have to deal with much very low stress weather in um, th throughout the next several days. I mean, your first to know Titan Doppler radar is clear. Maybe some patchy clouds south of Interstate 10 thanks to a modest sea breeze that's forming, but winds are mostly out of the northwest. Any of those clouds should dissipate. We'll keep those clear skies and we'll tap into cooler air by tomorrow morning. Many of us cooling down to the mid 50s, especially in South Georgia. We did it this morning and we'll probably do it again tomorrow morning. And parts of the Big Bend will likely see the upper 50s, especially along I-10. Further south, maybe low 60s, but that is nice, refreshing air, so you can give those air conditioners a break. But we do warm up again by tomorrow afternoon, especially across our Big Bend counties. 86 degrees for a high temperature in Tallahassee tomorrow. Maybe a couple degrees cooler in South Georgia since they're under the influence of that drier spell. And winds will continue mostly out of the northeast throughout the day tomorrow with your forecast and focus. Maybe some patchy clouds throughout the morning hours by the afternoon. We'll clear up and see nothing but full sunshine helping to warm us up very quickly during the afternoon hours. Clear skies and cool conditions once again for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We have a stable, consistent forecast that will take us throughout the next several days, but it is going to get breezy each and every afternoon, so slightly breezy tomorrow but more so breezy by Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon as the low pressure system meanders to the south off the eastern seaboard in the Atlantic. So that will prompt our breezy conditions in the afternoon, but that's really the only talking point we have because we stay dry. We gradually warm up high pressure is to the west and then that low pressure system I was just mentioning starts to sag southwestward and moves onshore, giving us a chance to see some showers by Friday, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder especially for our easternmost counties by Friday afternoon. So probably not a washout. We still have several days to hammer out those details. Might see a continued showery pattern into Saturday, but really low end rain chances. If you plan to do some boating tonight or through tomorrow, no advisories in place. We'll see plenty of sunshine. And that's the case this entire week. And we get those comfortable, cool mornings too in the upper 50s. It's going to be a spectacular work week all the way through until Friday. That is our next best chance to see some showers.